Oh, hi there, everybody. Um, this video is about the distance formula. We're starting a new unit, um, and this is the first lesson in that unit, and the unit is on coordinate uh, geometry. So that means we're, you know, looking at uh, various geometric properties, but on the coordinate plane, on the x, y axes. And so in this lesson, I wanted to figure out how do you find the distance between two points? What is the length of this line in, in units? And you can't just count because it's on a diagonal. You, like you could count the length of a line that's vertical, right? This, this segment is two units long and this segment is one unit long and so on. But if it's on the diagonal, you can't just count. And so it turns out that what you can do is um, since you're in the coordinate plane, you can actually use the Pythagorean theorem as long as you know how to set up a slope triangle. So the distance formula really combines two ideas. The Pythagorean theorem, which remember is just a squared plus b squared equals c squared in a right triangle. And it also takes uh, the idea of slope. And the slope of a line, because this is part of a line here, right? AB here is part of a line. But the slope of a line is equal to the rise divided by the run. Remember, rise over run. And so we have a way to calculate the slope. Um, uh, and we'll look at that in a moment. So first of all, let's think about the slope triangle, though. If you have a graph, you can just draw. This is the rise. That red line that I just drew, that's the rise. And, um, and then uh, maybe in, how about green? This green line that I'm drawing here, that represents the run. And those two lines together, right, combined with the segment that we're talking about, they make a right triangle. And so if I wanted to know the length, the distance between point A and B, right, if I call that D for distance, um, I could just count the length of these sides. I, know, I can see that the, the, the red side here is one, two, three, four, five units in length. And the green side is two units in length. And so I could do uh, five squared plus two squared equals that distance squared because that distance is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. And it will always be that way, the diagonal. And then you would just go through the, the motions here, 25 plus four, because that's five and two squared respectively. 25 and four is 29. Um, and then if you take the square root to find the distance, well, that's about 5.39 units, right? So and that's rounding to the nearest hundredth because it's the square root of 29 is an irrational number. So really that is the whole the whole process of, of this distance formula. And if you had a graph, you could just draw, you could plot the points and you could draw the slope triangle and you could do what we did in the Pythagorean theorem unit. But what if you don't have a graph? Okay, so this is important. So let's remember the slope formula. And of course the slope formula is just rise over run. And the way that we calculate the rise though, is, is really the difference between the, the rise here is the difference between the, the y coordinates. It goes, in, the, in our case, it goes from uh, y coordinate at three to a y coordinate at eight, right? And that's a difference of five. And the way that we would calculate that is just do eight minus three. But the, you know, the slope formula says y two minus y one. That's how we calculate the rise of the, uh, of the, the slope. And then the run is the same idea, only it's the difference in the x's. So this one goes from 2 to 4, and 4 minus 2 is 2. Um, but we calculate it doing x2 minus x1. So the, the distance formula, this idea here, is that we can really use the Pythagorean theorem as it's written here. But instead of a and b, we can substitute in, those, in place of those the run squared and the rise squared, because each of those two... Um, values, the rise and the run, are two sides of the right triangle, right? The A and the B. And then instead of the letter C, we're going to use D for distance. And see, all we did here in the first step was we took the square root of each side so that we could get the, this, you know, get rid of that second power on the, on the C. But again, we're, we're substituting the letter D because D stands for distance. Okay, and it's the distance formula. So then the last thing that we do is we can just say, well, the way that we calculate the run is we would do x2 minus x1. That calculates the run of the function or of the of the uh, <clears throat> the line, the segment. That's what I'm trying to say. And then we could uh, calculate the rise by doing y2 minus y1. So this is the distance formula, this thing that I just wrote here. And you want to write that down, please, because we're going to keep coming back to that. But really, it is just the Pythagorean theorem, and it uses the slope of the line to calculate the a and the b. So let's do one example, this one here, uh, where we actually find the distance between these two points without graphing. 
right? So I'm going to find the distance between 3 comma 7 and 10 comma negative 2, and I'm going to do so using the distance formula. So that I need to do the rise, or sorry, the run squared, and the run is, um, it goes from 3 up to 10. And that's a difference of 7, right? It's an increase of 7. But the way that I would show that is I would do 10 minus 3. Take the second x-coordinate and subtract the first x-coordinate and square that. Um, and then we could do the same thing with the y's. We'll do y2 minus uh, y1. So that'll be negative 2 minus 7. Because to get from 7 down to negative 2, it means you're dropping um, 9 units. But in the, in the distance formula, that's going to... Um, that's not the fact that it's negative isn't actually going to matter as you'll see in a moment. So seven or ten minus three is seven. So I know that one side of the slope triangle would be seven units, and then negative two minus seven is negative nine. And so I know that the other side would be nine units. It's negative because it's a drop, but the good news is that negative doesn't actually matter because negative nine to the second power is still uh, positive eighty one, and seven to the second power is forty nine. And so the distance between those two points is the square root of 49 plus 81, which is 130. And then on a calculator, that rounds to about 11.40 units. So you're going to want to uh, keep this video and keep those notes because we're going to come back to this a few times over the rest of this year. And it's going to come back uh, in your life a bunch after this year as well. See you next time.